just to listen and hope. So I hope that I will be able to see the events of the Sunday, you so bugwe. When you look away, I'm at away. Nam shanje siti bene ape so eto. Singa bando na bako. Eka ella kola dala mfulo. Sizo zimasa. Mse benzo wenzile. Asigli balanga, mama. Is the reason why we are still here doing lom se benzo na ukala ni na dala gu PAC. So si cho mama si cho kuba engosi. Si abulela magube kosi kube kama. It's um, it's 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 long overdue. First of all, the event of Onara Mamsobukwe. I've been to Mamsobukwe a number of times. One of the humblest people that uh, we can ever come across. And uh, I feel that the nation, it's not just so to that owes Umamu Sobukwe because she sacrificed her entire life for this nation. And I feel that she's one of the most, you know, unsung heroes. I think firstly we want to write, we want to write back the women of Azania into the pages of history. I think currently we are aware of our Omama Beitu, especially Omama from the Azanian school of thought are being erased. You don't know about Omama. Also, Bugwe. You don't even know all the um, the, pre the female activists, the female freedom fighters from the Azanian School of Thought. If you think about Women's Day, Women's Month, people will know about the names such as Lillian Goyi, but no one will tell you about Umama Zondeni So Bugwe. No one will tell you about Ubaba, Umama U Pamela Mabasa, and Umama U Ellen You know, all those names are erased. And we are trying to say it is wrong to tell history from one perspective. It's still a lot that this nation owes Umam Sobuka, particularly for the contribution that she's done, and which is, which is, uh, she's one, like I said, she's unsung, and uh, we'll still make it, a, I mean, a point that she's honored. Since Lipa Ekrafreinet several days, one Kalela. It is wrong to erase other people who contributed, you know, into shaping not just um, this country as we know it, but into shaping, you know, young people to be activists, young people to be um, um, liberators and, and revolutionaries in their own rights. So as the Black House Collective, we thought that it was necessary um, to start firstly by honoring Umama Zonde Nisobuke for her unwavering um, spirit 
in the in the manner that in which she supported her husband, but also you know the the Azania nation. Um, the PAC would not what would would not be what it is today if it was not for people like her. You know, she's the true embodiment of the words save, suffer, sacrifice. And as young people today, we are trying to have an intergenerational dialogue to say we want to learn from those um, who have gone before us. We want to learn from those who have walked this path. You know, so yeah, this was one way of saying Mama Zonde Nisobuke and other women like her, many other women like her, show us the way you know, pass the baton. I think we are ready now. So that's what this day was about. Tributes are important, especially at this time in our history, because uh, most of our leaders who have done tremendous work, their work is being erased because the winner is the one that writes history. But all what I want to say to our people, go and do a thorough research. Go and learn more about the struggles of the Africans.